Some people think therapy is for crazy people, which means, of course, it's not for them. Other people think that self-help techniques are all they need to work through a problem. And for a good percentage of people, that may be true. But I'm a therapist, so my take on it is a little bit different. The way I see it, therapy is for people who don't want to go crazy. If you've gone the self-help route and you're still feeling stuck around a problem, a little outside assistance could make all the difference. And that's when therapy is a good idea. The fact is, it's too hard sometimes to work through a problem all on our own. We're too close to see our own stuff a lot of the time. And even Freud tried to analyze himself and couldn't. And he was a genius. So it's no shame if the rest of us can't do it all alone. Asking for what you need, when you need it, is actually a sign of strength. It means you're on your own side, enough to do whatever it takes to work through the issue you're feeling stuck around. If you tried therapy or a therapist and it didn't work for you, don't assume that nothing will. That's like saying you tried fruit and you didn't like it because you ate a grape once and it was sour. I would urge you to try again. There are so many different kinds of therapies out there and therapists, and even a lot of newer therapies that we didn't have even a few years ago. Therapies that have a proven track record are the safest bet because research has proven that they work. One of my favorites is called EMDR therapy. I used it with first responders and survivors after 9-11 and Hurricanes Katrina and Sandy. And I still use it every day because I see it working right in front of my eyes. Because it works so well, EMDR therapy has been approved by the U.S. Department of Defense, Department of Veterans Affairs, and the World Health Organization as a frontline treatment for trauma. But it also works on most of the issues that people come to therapy for. With EMDR therapy, we define trauma pretty broadly as any bad thing that happened that we never got over. That's when we get stuck. And that's where EMDR therapy can help us get unstuck by jumpstarting our self-healing mechanism so that it can just finish the job and resolve the issue. And it can work faster than a lot of traditional talk therapies because it reaches the part of the brain where trauma lives. And that's where the repair work needs to be done. If you want to know more about EMDR, check out emdria org where you can search for a therapist in your area. I would look for one who is certified. Another good resource is the Parnell Institute at parnellemdr.com. So when is therapy a good idea? When it's time to get out of your own way. When it's time to get on with your life. When it's time to let your happiness have a place at the table. And your best self-help efforts aren't doing it for you. Don't think you have to keep going it alone. There is so much good help out there now. I'm Bruce Patterson. I hope this has been helpful.